Hey, so this is a quick tutorial showing how to install a Core UI Free React Admin template uh, on your computer and run, get it running. So first thing you want to do is create a folder for where the file is going to go. So if we go right click new folder core, type in core UI template or whatever it can be anything you want go in, okay so then we want to open that folder up and this is where we're going to start running the commands prerequisites for this is that you have um, node and git installed so you're going to need those installed as well so there we go so just type in powershell up there that should open up this instance of PowerShell, sorry, it's just another screen. Let's just flip this around a bit. There we go. So we only need Git and Node installed, which I already have, so I'm not going to go over that too much, but just bear in mind that you need it. So first you want to do, I'm just copying this command here from the instructions that says git clone, which basically means you're cloning a code repository or a I'm not going to call it my project, I'm going to call it something else, something like test react core UI. Just you can change it to anything you want, but that uh, yeah. And let's press return. So that's cloning now uh, into this folder. You can see there that it's uh, Getting some files, okay, it's got those files. Now I should just have to go, duh, uh, sorry, not that, cd for change directory, cd, cd, then uh, what did I call it? Test react. I think this is the folder anyway. I said, if I just want to check it, you can do this, ls. Yeah, test see so that just that just basically typing ls just shows you a list of all the folders and the files in there. So it's just that one folder at the minute. So UI test react to core UI. I want to put cd for change directory to that directory, and it's changed directory, so that's good. And if I do ls now, you can see there's a bunch of files in there. So uh, we're interested in the package JSON because we want to install the associated node. Um, packages uh, and it's sort of set up already so if we just type the following npm install press return now that's now installing all the everything we need for to get it running basically so it's installing into a folder called uh, node modules which we'll see when I'll just show you that once this is done And then I'll just show after this the next command, which is npm start. After this is done, all it's installing. We do npm start to then start the application up, and I'll show you where you open it up. And that's just doing its magic, installing all the node modules. Node modules being, uh, uh, like I said, dependencies. So it's like dependent chunks of code if you want to imagine it like that which uh, um, which work together ideally anyway <laughs> uh, so that might take a while it's probably there's a lot of files so it's quite a big thing let's quickly just look at uh, so it's using create react react app which is a common um, uh, quick like app creation um package basically i've used it myself a bit uh, you don't have to really worry too much about that though because it's all done for you in this instance in this package okay so we just, just monitor this as well just check it's downloading okay downloading a load of other stuff blah 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 you get all this message to say everything's downloading download the binaries testing the binaries and then soon we'll be able to boot up. Okay, there we go, so it started. So now let's, let me just check I haven't got anything else running at the same time. No, good. So if I go npm, if I now type npm start, this uh, 
should boot up. There you go. So you get this message, React script start, which means that all the starting up, you should get a message then that says starting the development server. And if I go on here, it's opening on localhost port 3000. Uh, so now it should just open up and we should be able to basically uh, look at the app as it is. So it can take a little while to boot up sometimes, it's still just booting up basically. Ba -ba -ba -bum -bum. You can see it's loading because it's saying start the development server there, so that's giving you a bit of feedback. Uh, it just takes a while sometimes because it's the first time it's booting up, it usually takes a bit longer. Do, 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 do. There you go. So there we go, that's how you get the app up and running. If you want to have specifically look at the charts, it's in charts here. That gives you some examples you can look at uh, of uh, how these charts actually work in the code. Um, and yeah, that's that. Uh, that's how you get a, uh, this core UI for React or a um, repository up and running. So I hope that's been useful. If you've got any questions, just ask me and I'll try and answer them as best as I can. Okay. Bye.